The Lake Shawnee Amusement Park. In the 1920s, a businessman in Lake Shawnee, West Virginia, purchased a plot of land in order to build a giant amusement park on it. Now, this plot of land that he bought was also the site of a desiccated Indian burial ground with a very dark and long history behind it. The businessman intended to build an amusement park and indeed did build an amusement park. And for a long time, it was very successful and it, it did quite well. He built a set of swings, a ferris wheel. He opened up the pond and made it into a pool. The park did do business wise it did very well over the years but as the years went on the death toll started to rise and known reported cases although it is suspected there was more than was reported there were six reported cases of people dying a lot of these included children one case in particular involved a little girl that was killed when a truck apparently backed up onto the path where she was on the swings and it crushed her and sadly she died another one was of a little boy that, that drowned in the pool after a lot of tragedy and obviously so many deaths in this park and with falling numbers in visitors eventually the park did close this site is still believed by many experts in the paranormal investigation and detectives a lot of experts believe that this area this amusement park is probably one of the most haunted in the world it is still inhabited by the children and everyone else who sadly died in its long history and that's including the people from the Indian burial ground. It's shrouded in death, this place. What are your thoughts? Do you ever think somewhere like this could be haunted? When I think of haunted places, I don't think of amusement parks. A second one on our list is Thorpe Park, which was constructed in 1979, and it was made on the site of um, an old gravel pit. In 2011, a new ride was being funded to be built. The, the ride was called the Storm Surge. But when work began, workers started reporting strange events, such as the feeling of being watched, apparitions and sounds. Because the workers became very unsettled and and they were not happy to work. Bosses at the park did arrange for a paranormal detective to come in and investigate to find out what was going on. Was anything behind these sights and sounds and smells and, and things being moved? Or was it just figment of imagination? So they brought in some people, some investigators and some detectives to have a look into it. What they actually found, the investigators and the detectives, what they actually found was it was, again, built on an ancient burial site, which because it had been dug and moved and this ride was being built on top of it, they believed it disturbed the ground, that these people, well, it was these people's resting place so that's what they believe had triggered the strange events this phenomenon that hadn't happened before in the park but all of a sudden did again what are your thoughts on that have you ever been to an amusement park that's uh i don't know a little bit what you might think has been spooky or creepy now the final one is the best one in um it's a king's island in iowa in the usa it's a massive amusement park it's huge it's really big um the king's island amusement park was built on a site that again apparently had a very long and dark past to it and the paranormal activity was there before the amusement park was even built there was an incident on the site where the amusement park is a long 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 time ago where an ammunition factory blew up and when it blew up it destroyed the building but also killed well over a hundred people and there's a, again there's a lot of death on this site so that's why it's regarded as one of the most haunted places if not in america but maybe in the world over the years a lot of deaths have been reported on this site and there's again suspected more that haven't been reported but there's a lot that's just have been reported on the amusement site itself it even has its own graveyard now that's, that's not for special effects it's not for show it's, it's not artificial it's an actual burial ground that they've not been able to move they're not allowed to move it so they've had to build around it in the center of this amusement park there is a burial ground there's there's a cemetery some of the ghosts that are seen often more prominent on the site are the ghost of a little girl that's known as the track girl uh, there's a ghost of a little boy who's known as the racer and there's a young man that climbed up the replica Eiffel Tower that they've got at the entrance of the amusement park and he slipped and he fell and when he apparently it's reported when he slipped and he fell he hit the cable of a nearby ride and it cut him in two. These are three amusement parks that I thought were quite creepy and I tried to I tried to pick some of the best ones because there's a lot. I mean I could have gone on to Walt Disney but the 
is the big amusement park obviously in America and, and Disneyland and Disney World. Well, if you, I don't know if you've seen it, but there's a good chance you have because it's on the internet a lot. There's a, a, an alleged ghost that you can see on one of those tapes. It's really faint, but you can see it moving through Disneyland. But these are three that I've come across that are really quite daunting, quite scary really. I think a lot of it also is the fact that they've all got cemeteries or burial grounds or some ancient plot. I don't understand why would you build something like that on death. I think that's what they've got all in common, the fact that they're all built on graveyards, cemeteries, and sadly these people just can't move on. They can't move on, so they stay where they are and that's what causes the hauntings. What are your thoughts though? Have you ever been to an amusement park or a fairground or a fair or, or, or whatever and have you ever had your own experience of this kind of thing? Have you ever done that? Have you ever seen that or all like that? I'd love to know. So yeah, there you have it. Just a few of the most haunted amusement parks on the planet. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, be sure to drop it a like and hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with everything that we do. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video.